Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only. Coming to you with a vlog because apparently my camera's working again on my computer. Yay! Anyway, figured I'd touch on what was supposed to happen Friday and didn't happen mainly because of events that went on. I'm still in my work clothing. It's kind of faded, I know. But uh, yeah, I'm still a little trying to relax from work, but I figured I might as well touch on the issues why I uh, didn't really feel like I should touch on it yesterday. And like I said, it's been postponed to next Friday, so it will be talked about, just not that particular day. After the spate of shootings that have been happening uh, with police in general, um, one of them with a uh, apparently former Army reservist who was upset at the way black people have been treated by the police and acted out against them. Um, I felt that that's not the right time to talk about gun control because there's a lot bigger issue at hand in general, at least in that regard. And that discussion is more for the uh, issue of police brutality and Black Lives Matter in general. Um, I'm one of one mind on this. You can be pro-black and pro-cop at the same time. Uh, that's been talked about a lot by, uh, not to name drop, but uh, several people, uh, Obama for one, and Philly D, uh, YouTuber who I respect. Um, and the main thing seems to be, the main issue, is that you have to either be on one side or the other, and that's what's creating a lot of the problems now. And the problem is you don't have to be either. And that seems to be beyond the scope of some people's minds. And we can't really do much about it until we address the main issue at hand, which is all lives matter. However, we're focusing on black lives currently within the last two, three years now, because statistically they are more likely to die in a police action than almost any white person ever in a police action. They're not the only ones, but they are predominantly the ones more victimized in these sort of circumstances. They are definitely not the only ones, like I said. Mentally ill, Asians, Latinos, Middle Eastern people. I, one of my favorite customers is from Syria. I'm scared to death half the time because I don't know what could happen to her, if anything, because of some crazy whatever. But, like I said, um, like I said, I haven't heard many sort of circumstances like this in anywhere else, but that's because this issue is so pressing and so necessary to talk about that this gets pulled to the forefront a lot. Now, a lot of the problem seems to be that we can't get a discussion going in any respect because we're either politicizing it, which is what we should be doing in the first place because these are tragedies that could have been avoided or that apparently some people are not allowed to talk about it even though they are agreeing with the consensus that this needs to stop this needs to stop and apparently we're not allowed to talk about it just because of one thing or another and i'm getting washed out by the uh, <laughs> by the sun at this point so let's see if i can no, apparently not. Okay. I'm just going to take my glasses off. At least you'll see my eyes then. It seems a lot of this just cannot be talked about because we're too busy butting heads to be able to actually find some cohesion and consensus on these issues. And that's not to say that they don't have valid points. The problem is if we can't compromise on those, which is what we're supposed to be doing in the first place, then nothing's going to get done, at least not properly and nothing's going to get done progress to make sure this doesn't happen in the future. It's just not going to happen unless we get something close to a compromise going. Because otherwise, there's nothing. And that's the main issue that I see. Now, as it stands, the, one of the bigger issues that I had was mainly because we had a similar sort of thing in Dallas going on, but luckily, tragedy... Uh, managed to avoid this particular instance um, and it's going to be a big call-out video at the same time so get ready for that 
Uh, like I've said multiple times, I live in Oregon, and I've said it in multiple videos at this point. Um, there was a Black Lives Matter protest in, uh, I believe, downtown Portland. Um, there was no issues going on there, except for a particular YouTuber who um, <laughs> runs the channel called Laughing at Liberals. Um, he seems to be a right-wing agitator, as he's been described in an article that I've read about this issue in the first place, because I didn't hear about it uh, on the news otherwise, uh, for some strange reason, probably because the guy's white. Um, apparently, he was trying to be an agitator and filming these people while they were in the protest, presumably to put it on YouTube to make commentary and laugh and harass them, laugh at and harass them, rather, and <sighs> this is just, it, this is, just gets weirder from here on, so I hope you're ready for it. Apparently, he was following them closely, but they were making movements in his direction, quote-unquote. Um, apparently, a bunch of unarmed protesters scared him because they were going towards his direction. So he pulled out a pistol. The story says it was a Glock 27, but it was said later that it was 9mm rounds in the pistol. So I looked it up and found out that's not the case. Uh, the Glock 27 is a, I believe, a 40 caliber Smith & Wesson. So the one I think they mistook it for is a Glock 26, which is one number off, which is 9mm, but that's neither here nor there. Apparently, he pulled out this gun, this Glock 26, I'm assuming, because that's the only thing that matches the description, uh, and points it at the crowd and starts waving it around. But that's not before he popped out the standard mag that was already in the pistol and then put in an extended mag that allegedly had five extra bullets poking out from the handle itself. And that's another thing that I was able to verify that it had to have been the Glock 26 and not the Glock 27. Because on their website, I was able to find out that they have an extension of five rounds from the standard mag for the Glock 26. But again, not so. We'll touch on that in a bit. Uh, at that point, he's just waving it around at protesters. They start scattering, most of them. Others are trying to calm him down to try and figure out what is wrong with him to think that that is okay. Apparently, his defense is, I felt threatened and feared for my life. A bunch of unarmed protesters made this man fear for his life. I highly, highly doubt that. He goes to these sort of events on purpose to try and agitate, harass, and film these people to laugh at on YouTube. I have no doubt in my mind he had those particular sort of magazines on his person, apparently alleging in the comments to the story he had about six of those. He had those on purpose to try and terrorize this group. Now, uh, I'm just saying this as my part of my own opinion. I don't want to say he did that for sure, because it's possible that that's not the case. He was just trying to do his freedom of speech, whatever. I'm just saying, in my personal opinion, he was there to harass and terrorize those people. It was not long until police were able to take hold of the situation. They were watching the protest and not interfering with the protest in general. But they came in, took this guy down, and disarmed him. And I have not quite an idea what's going on with that story as of now. I have not been able to keep track of it. Work has unfortunately kept me from trying to keep track of all these stories, unfortunately. I get snippets and details where I can, but like I said, I am I know the details of most of the things, but I can't say I know all of the story offhand, so there you go. Uh, 
apparently they also took in another person named Jesse, but from the sound of it, from the comments, he might have been trying to defuse the situation as well as the other protesters, so I'm not going to comment on him. This person named Michael Strickland, uh, he apparently also lives in the same state I do, uh, if he was able to do this in Oregon, uh, Portland to be precise. Uh, runs the YouTube channel Laughing at Liberals and does this sort of thing. And as I said, in my personal opinion, this is a guy trying to terrorize a group of people just because he doesn't believe in their cause. He doesn't actually think that they have a valid point. And so he resulted, so it resulted rather, in this sort of situation happening. And I find that very sad, and in my personal opinion, if he gets jail time, I think he deserves every single bit of time he gets. But, like I said, that's my personal opinion, and it doesn't matter unless the courts say that is actually the case. But, anyway, that's neither here nor there. Uh, after all of that went on, I felt that there was... No reason for me to talk about the gun control discussion that I was planning for last Friday. And like I said, I've moved it to next Friday. And the main reason I did that as well, on top of all the things that happened within the last three days, which are, I should not be saying they happened in the last three days. Apparently they had to. Uh, at, when I did the video, it was very long, very rambly. And I felt like I couldn't really say my point was put across in a valid and coherent sort of argument. And it was not my best work, <laughs> which is saying a lot. I felt I needed to, after everything that's going on, especially what happened in the last three days, we need to have a discussion about it, but we need to make sure that the discussion has as many clear details and as clear points as possible. And as I'm just going to drop it here, I'm pro-gun control. However, I feel a lot of the points on the left are somewhat overdoing it in many respects. Um, multiple points they do have are good and a perfect first start, but it seems that they're not able to get them off the ground, and that's probably because some of their other points are so outlandish and, uh, for lack of a better phrase, unnecessary. But that's, again, my opinion. <laughs> that's pretty much this entire vlog right now, just my opinion. But anyway, I'm happy the computer's camera's working again. <laughs> Even if it is whitewashing the fuck out of me, I might try and tint that down in editing. But, uh, yeah, it's very much been a hell of a week, and I felt that my original discussion needed to be moved, and I had to talk about recent goings-on within my neck of the woods, because that had a lot of play on what's been going on recently. And I'm just happy that what happened in my neck of the woods ended in no tragedy and no sort of bloodshed or death. Because, <laughs> as Philly D said, uh, Philip DeFranco, hashtag no senseless death, hashtag no more fucking horrible people. I just don't want to be dealing with this anymore. I want it to stop. I want it to end. I want it to at least lessen so that we're not having to push this discussion every other week, if not every week, because this sort of thing happens. I'd like it, I'd love it, if it would just start to go away. But apparently, as long as this sort of thing is not able to be discussed in Congress, we're never going to find a proper answer. We're never going to find a proper way to fix this. So that leads to us having to discuss this ourselves and try and find legislators which we agree with because the ones we currently put up there are not doing anything or at least the majority of them many of them are obstructionists uh republicans in general 
but there are issues on both sides of the platform and we need to discuss who is good and who is not because we cannot keep doing this. We cannot keep letting this happen. <sighs> if only Bernie Sanders was on the ticket, I would have felt so much better, but... Uh. Anyway, I'm going to eat my food, I'm going to get drunk, and forget today happened, because today was hell, at least in my personal life. Uh, the last few weeks have been hell in general, and the last week in particular has been hell for the world, so I'd rather forget everything's been going on. <laughs> anyway, uh, thank you all. Thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. I think I got those in the right direction. Yeah. Anyway, and share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about these issues somewhat civilly. Those, if you cannot speak about it civilly, I will not be speaking with you. I may block you from the channel if you're getting too vitriolic, but that's neither here nor there. I'm hoping we can have a civil discussion on this. And I will see you all in the next video, hopefully soon. <laughs> and I hopefully don't have to postpone it again. And this has been the one the only Stray Cat, playing games, vlogging, and speaking on issues that are really important for you. <laughs>